A few days ago, I did a live stream where I talked about the best ways to stream to TikTok and Twitch or YouTube. That is already outdated because of this fantastic new and free OBS plugin from Harris Heller and Atom. So here's how you can stream to TikTok and Twitch or YouTube with just one OBS client for free. And you can also use it to make clips for TikTok, YouTube Shorts or Instagram and Facebook Reels. Now a quick disclaimer, you will need a stream key for this. If you don't have a stream key, I'll put my stream key guide in the description. Before we install this plugin, let's begin by setting up our Twitch or YouTube stream on OBS. So if you don't have this set up already, click on profile at the top, click on new and type in either Twitch or YouTube. I'll make a Twitch profile and then crucially make sure show auto configuration wizard is checked to make it easier for ourselves and press OK. Run through the config, optimize it for streaming to start with. Set your FPS to the highest possible and I recommend the 1920x1080 base canvas resolution. Once you've got those two set, press next. The easiest thing to do with Twitch is just connect your account so you don't have to pull your stream key from the website. Once your Twitch is connected, pick prefer hardware encoding and also let it estimate the bitrate with its bandwidth test. It will usually come up with a good set of default settings like this, so all you have to do is press apply. Now it does give you these two docs by default. I recommend just closing them and viewing these from the creator dashboard inside Twitch. Now you're probably looking at a blank canvas. So let's quickly add some scenes and sources. We'll do a quick just chatting one and we'll do a gameplay one. Let's start with the just chatting one. I'm going to right click scene here and just rename it to just chatting. Then we're going to add our camera as a source. So press the plus button of the sources and choose video capture device. Rename it if you want, press OK, and then find your camera from the list. Default camera settings often aren't great, so I'm going to go to resolution FPS type, change it to custom, and then make sure I have the maximum settings for my camera. So that's 1920 by 1080 and this is my second camera, 30 FPS on this camera. Leave the rest on the same, and I'll press OK. Now you can see the camera's gone full screen. The only other thing I'm going to add to my just chatting scene is my microphone, which is an audio input capture. Just pick the correct one from the list, which is the HyperX Quadcast here. And we're also going to add one little filter to the microphone. This makes a whole world of difference, especially if your PC fans or AC is loud. So click on the three dots next to the audio input capture, which is your microphone. Click on filters, press the plus button, click noise suppression, press OK. If you get a warning like I'm doing, it looks like I need to update my graphics cards. But in actual fact, I can see that it's working even though it's not updated. Let's also set up a gameplay scene. So under scenes on the left side, we just type in gameplay. I think that's one word. There we go. So press OK. And now your sources have disappeared. So let's start again by adding the microphone back in. So click on audio input capture. But we already have it. So add existing this time. Audio input capture. We don't need to add the filter again. This time we want our computer audio as well. So add audio output capture, which is going to capture our computer audio, obviously game audio, etc. So for me, that's this game one here. Press OK. Now, of course, let's add our camera again and let's add the gameplay. So we'll start by adding the gameplay. So add a display capture. This is just going to show your entire screen. So I'll press OK on that and I'll find the correct monitor, which is this one here. And then I just want to add the camera. So again, we don't need to add this again. Technically, we just click video capture device, add existing because we've already added it. Here's the camera. Of course, I don't want it full screen this time. So I'm going to place it somewhere there. Now let's get to the fun part, which is installing this new vertical plugin. And again, that's going to let us multi-stream to TikTok and Twitch or YouTube from one OBS. It's also going to let us easily make clips from our landscape and turn them into portrait clips. So I'll link this in the description and you just start by clicking on free download and get it downloaded. Once it's downloaded, just click on it, open it up and run through the installer. So pretty simple, just accept the default, accept the default again, click on install and it's going to install really fast. It's done already. Next up, like it says on the website, you're going to have to restart OBS. So go ahead and do that. And once you've restarted OBS, it should look something like this. As you probably noticed on the right, we need to resize them a bit, but we've now got some vertical scenes and some vertical sources. There is, of course, a few different setup steps to go through. So let's do that now. First things first, you want to replicate all the scenes that you've got for your landscape stream on TikTok or YouTube. You want to replicate those for TikTok. So under vertical scenes here, I'm just going to rename this one and we'll call it uh, just chatting vertical. We'll press OK and then under vertical sources. And once again, just going to add video capture device. The great thing about this plugin is you can just hover over video capture device and my camera is already there. I've just named it video capture device. Not very inventive. 
If you've used a method in the past where you use two different versions of OBS to stream to TikTok and Twitch or YouTube, you probably know you can't use a camera with both. Great thing about this, we're only on one version of OBS, so I can use my full quality camera on both of them. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag it down as this is a just chatting scene like that and right click, transform, center horizontal. And now I've got a just chatting scene set up on both TikTok and Twitch or YouTube. Let's set up our gameplay scene as well. So I'm gonna click on the plus button next to vertical scenes again, and I'll call this gameplay vertical this time, gameplay vertical, press okay. And once again, we need to add in the sources. So we'll start by adding display capture. We're just gonna capture our game, uh, something like that. And I'm gonna drag it to the bottom and we'll resize it in a second. But first let's just add the camera in. So video capture device, video capture device, and the camera's now in. Obviously the camera looks way too big like this. So I'm just gonna shrink it down something like that. That looks good enough for me. And I'm just gonna drag what would be the gameplay scene up. Now it's a little bit confusing because you're seeing OBS. We'll just drag the gameplay up there. And once again, we're gonna use a little trick here, transform center horizontally. And they're gonna do the same for the camera to make sure the camera is perfectly centered as well. Now, one last fantastic trick I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna right click Just Chatting Vertical, click on Linked Scenes, link it to Just Chatting. I'm gonna right click Gaming Vertical, click on Linked Scenes and link it to Gameplay. Now watch what happens when I click between these two scenes. I click Gameplay, the Vertical Gameplay scene is now active. I click back onto Just Chatting, just like that, the Just Chatting Vertical scene is now active as well. But now that it's set up, the question is, how do you stream with it? Well, first, let's check the settings. So we click this little settings cog on the right side and we're met with a load of different settings. So firstly, video bitrate. I do not know why they've defaulted this to 200 because if you stream with a 200 bitrate, they're not gonna be able to see anything. So I typically recommend between 6,000 and 10,000. And there is, as always, for a 1080p stream, there's really not much point going above 10,000. We'll come back to backtrack later on in this video, but for now, we'll focus on streaming settings. So we'll click on streaming here. And although there's a drop down list here, we actually just need to get our stream key and server URL the usual way from the TikTok Live Center. Set yourself a start streaming hotkey, stop streaming hotkey if you want, link it with your stream deck if you've got one. And once you've saved those settings, it's as simple as pressing this green button here, which says stream vertical. Of course, don't forget to also click start streaming. So you also start streaming on Twitch or YouTube as well. Then once you click both buttons, you're now live on two platforms from one OBS. And once again, as long as you've used this linked scenes option here, when you click from one to another, it will seamlessly transition you on both Twitch and YouTube and TikTok. Now let's look at how you can use this feature to both record clips while you're streaming and to just record in vertical mode when you're not streaming. So firstly, it has this fantastic button here, which is the backtrack button. This is what they call the replay buffer in OBS, but they've basically renamed it. With this, you can set an amount of time in seconds. And as the name implies, it will backtrack. And once you hit the backtrack button, it will save that amount of seconds of your clip. So if you just hit a brilliant clip in whatever game you're playing, you just hit the backtrack button and you've got a vertical clip of that ready to go. So let's set up the backtrack button. Let's just click on the settings cog here. We go back to the general settings. Make sure backtrack is turned on. Five seconds is way too low. I recommend somewhere from 60 to 120 seconds. I'll set mine to 60 seconds and then choose where you're gonna save your video by pressing browse. Also probably a good idea to set yourself a hotkey, especially if you don't have a stream key. I like using Alt plus R. So you just hit a few hotkeys after you hit your clip and the clip is now saved. While we're in the settings, let's also go to the recording section. And once again, just choose the recording path, which is the same folder where you just chose here to save your backtrack recording. Once you've done those settings, just press OK. So to use backtrack, you either need to start streaming in vertical mode or start recording in vertical mode. I'll start recording. And as you can see, the backtrack button has now turned blue. Then when you have a good moment ready to clip, just either hit the keybind that you saved or press this blue button here and it says backtrack saving, backtrack saved. So a big thank you to Harris Heller and Atom who've just released this to the streaming community for free. If you don't have a stream key or you want to learn more about the different multi-streaming methods, then watch this video here where I do a deep dive into all the different methods. Subscribe if you found this useful. Thank you to the channel members for their support and thanks for watching.